What's up Sony Nagumis' fans? For those who missed the first part of the interview, click on the link above to watch the special interview. And for those who watched the first part, please go ahead and check out the second part of the interview. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Hollywood Backstage, your ultimate hangout for all the celebrity gossip. How do you live your style of, uh, you are so, so famous all over the world and I think that uh, a 21 female as you can maybe lose something the friends, the family, or normal life? It's all on how you choose to live your life. Because you can you allow yourself... you choose to live this life? Yes, I do. I choose to live this life, but I also choose to live it the way I want to live it. Because it's too easy to say that I want people around me that will tell me yes and think everything around me is perfect. Because I can have those people around me right now if I want. But I'd rather have people around me that tell me I don't look good, or I should work out, or that sounded stupid. You know, I like having real people that, that make me feel like a normal person, because then it makes it easier to be me. So, I don't know, I, I, I hope there's more of that. I'd rather just have real people. So, what keeps you grounded? Having uh, just people with you? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, my, but it starts with how I was raised. It starts with my family. It starts with my mom and my dad and and uh, my stepdad, mostly. Just just kind of shaping me into who I am. And then it begins to choose with the people that I love, which are my best friends and the people I have around me. I get moments where I get caught up, for sure, but I'd rather just have that realness because it makes me feel more just you know, something about the video clip. Uh, come and get it and uh, slow down. Okay. Tell me something about uh, do you uh, take part of the approach? Uh, oh, sorry, um, the making of the video. Right. The, okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, with with this record, it was more about a statement of that I am becoming an adult so it's more of a way for me to ease people into the fact that I'm not 14 anymore so that they can understand that so come and get it was a very central video I did a fun dance with it that um, my choreographers recreated a beautiful dance and then people can understand oh, okay she's she's not trying to be the little girl anymore she is who she is but not just quite so they're able to see that I am becoming an adult but they don't really know what what's left for me so I think that there's a lot that's going to happen but I like surprising people in a graceful way Have you any projects about movies I did two movies that uh, will come out done? one I'm sorry you have done yes uh, yes, they're, one's called Behaving Badly, which is kind of like a dark comedy. It's a total boy movie. Behaving, like a bunch of behaving. behaving Badly. Yeah. It's a total guy movie. Like, boys will go totally to totally watch movie. that. It's funny. And then I did a, a drama called Rudderless that William H. Macy directed. And it was incredible. It was a small part, but I'd, I'd rather be in something that had substance with really great people that I could learn from. So. That was a drama. And what about 13 Reasons Why? 13 Reasons Why. We have something great for that. I know that we've been putting that um, off for a little bit, but it's only because it is such a special book, and it also has a very powerful message that I think a lot of people can relate to. So we want to make sure that we execute it perfectly before we release it, or else it just won't be any good. Thank you, I appreciate that. Hopefully we'll do it justice when we do it right. Uh, talking about powerful messages in your music, what about you always send a message to, to your friends, to the girls, to be uh, confident, to believe in themselves, right. to be self-empowerment. Right. And I think in this, in this record as well, so how does how this message evolve in the new record? How to, what are you saying to your fans? There is, there is much more that I'd like to say to them and specifically girls because most of my fans are females and I just feel like there's there's a lot going on but we all feel the same thing and we're all going through the same thing that I just hate when people and girls especially feel that they have to take themselves down to have friendships or to have love and that's where the biggest mistake of all of it is. And I try my hardest to just make music that's lighthearted. But even the track of my of my tour and this record is called Stars Dance. And 
that track represents confidence and is basically saying, I can do everything better than anyone else. And every girl okay. should have that mentality. You know, you should have that, I should have that, she should have that, everybody should. Have that. And also, you can come and get it. You yeah, really strong, well, really basically. <laughs> it allows the weakness to happen because I'm completely, I'm, I mean, I'm so, I'm a hopeless romantic and I'm very weak and I fall apart when I need to be, but. You know, it's, it's good for a woman to be strong and have their own, and hold their own. Uh, Serena, would you like to become the next judge for um, X Factor USA? Probably like your not. friend Demi? <laughs> like no, Demi does a great Demi. job, and the reason why Demi does a great job is because she's good at that. Demi understands that. I mean, I've, I've, I've watched Demi sing at fairs where 10 people have performed. And I listen to her and the notes that she gives and the things that she taught me. Demi would call me and ask me about a situation I was dealing with about like a very long time ago and, and she wrote a song about it. She deserves to, to have that position because she's so young and very talented. I'm very emotional. I would just want everybody to win. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. I'd cry the whole time. She's strong. She knows what to do. Uh, what's the biggest pet peeve? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. What? There's a lot. I have a lot. Oh, a lot. You have a lot. <laughs> I'll pick one. Yes. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't like when people are rude. You know, no matter no matter what you do, my job, his job, your job, it's not that hard to say please or thank you and be appreciative of it. <laughs> She's like, you're right. So thank you. Of course. <laughs> Okay. Are you are you interested in politics? Me? Yeah. Perhaps, but that's one thing I definitely don't like talking about. It's so hard because when I meet new people and I'm traveling the world and every every part of the world that I go to, the government and everything and the system works differently from where I'm from. About your country. About my country. That's the thing that I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm able to witness everybody and how they live their lives differently, and I agree with some of the things that you do, and I disagree with some of the things that I do and do and don't do where I'm from, but it's just a tricky thing to say because people want to twist it into something else. I'd rather talk about something when I meet someone new, because then it can get like, you know, it gets messy. Everybody has their own beliefs, but I just try to be me, keep it safe. <laughs> Okay, Hi. Yeah. What do you think about Well, what do you mean? I mean, I'm here. I'd rather be shopping, maybe, seeing what you guys wear. <laughs> no, no. I am so excited. My stylist is actually flying here um, in a couple of days, so I'm going to see her and then we're going to go shopping. I appreciate the fashion in every place I go to, so I'm excited to, to experience that. But everywhere I go I usually work, um, but it's good. I'm glad to be here. Do you have a dream? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say it's one thing. I just want to constantly have goals to keep reaching them because I don't want to stop. If I feel settled, then I won't keep going. So yes, personally, there's a lot of things I'd love to do in my life, and professionally, I feel like I've just begun. So there's a lot to come. Um, my opinion is you are stronger uh, as a older, older young colleagues. You know, I mean, my opinion is you play, you perform better. Thank you. Stop. But the question is. How do you expect for your future, I mean maybe five years uh, later, uh, ten years later, as a songwriter, as an actress, as a whatever, more, more like, the, like today? I have to be better, I have to be more open and I have to be honest, but I need to grow up first. So if I keep my life private and I grow up and make all the mistakes that none of Know, nobody needs to know about and I'm able to figure them out on my own I'm able to apply that to my art I think I've done a decent job to, right now I think I do what I have to do in my personal life and figure out what I need to apply it to my professional life so yeah there's a lot that I 
that I will share, but I'm taking my time. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. And if you want to go with them, you sure. Can ask to be I'm gonna go have a diet coke. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye